So what does SAP have in store uh, in the business technology platform? Let's start with the business application studio. Uh, this is actually the new web IDE uh, that we used before to create uh, the, the normal coding applications. But there's also some new features to create uh, what I said, the guided or the more configuration kind of uh, applications like you can use VOD elements or uh, the cloud application uh, programming model to quickly start uh, and accelerate your application creation. And this is an easy switch between the pro coding and the no coding. So a skilled developer can still use uh, the business application studio, but can then accelerate or speed up his development using the, uh, the low code perspective. And next to that, we have SAP AppGyver, which is actual no code, as I mentioned before. And this is a tool uh, with a drag and drop style to create multi-channel applications very fast uh, and very uh, efficiently. Also, uh, one of the strong features of AppGyver is uh, integrating uh, the external APIs and the data. It's a very easy integration uh, done by a, a quick uh, configuration of minutes. And next to that, I have to mention it because it's still local, no code, but it's not really application development. It's more of a process automation. Uh, the definition is in the title. This is to automate processes, mostly tedious or um, repetitive processes. And the process automation, the new product, uh, combines the workflow and the uh, IRPA, robotic process automation. Um, and this is also a no coding uh, tool. I have another question about Mark. Yeah. I used all three, but when should I use one? Uh, which uh, should you use when? It's, it's fairly easy to say. Uh, first, you can make a distinction between is it the process automation or is it an application uh, development? So if you, if you, of course, need to automate some process, you can use the SAP process automation tool. Uh, then we can go to the application development. And then it's uh, kind of the, the question, are you uh, skilled to use programming language? Because then I would immediately uh, refer you to the business application studio. Mm -hmm. What is the time frame of the project? Uh, what is the complexity of the project? Because if it's not really a complex application, and it's more of a display work list, data display kind of application, AppGyver would be very fast in that. You would have an app in a day, uh, for example. Uh, but if it's more complex or you're just more familiar with the coding, uh, I would recommend the business application studio. Okay. Thank you very much.